Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Serious Good Adventures and Vivo Tech Pack. As you can see, I did some things. I look quite fancy today. My shoulders are kind of buff too. I look like a purple Hulk. Um, but yeah, yesterday I've been live streaming again for like three hours, and this is what I've been working on on that stream. This is uh, right now. It doesn't look like much. <laughs> it's just a huge empty room with stone and dirt and all kinds of things. Um, but this is supposed to become my Stormcraft room. So we are in the purple, in the purple hallway, purple for magic. Uh, so we put all our magic stuff here. And I've been doing some basic Stormcraft setups, uh, just so we can use it to do some more of the fun stuff. Um, I am in my uh, Storm Storm outfit, and I also have the goggles of revealing. Those are actually really fancy because um, they kind of work like the the thermometer in way like if you scan you can see nodes and you can see what uh, things are made out of um, but with the goggles itself you can actually like for example if I look at those jars they right now have liquid aspects in them if I take off the goggles I don't see them um, and it also lets me just uh, see nodes from from far away uh, which is really nice to actually find them and scan them and drain them and do all kinds of stuff to them. <laughs> um, but let me go over some things real quick. Um, I, I, I'm i never sure how much I should explain. I feel like most of these mods are so old now that most people might know about them. Uh, but, you know, maybe not everyone has done it. So I'm going to try to explain a little bit, but not too much, I guess. Um, so what I've been doing is, we have our basic setup over here. We have our arcane work table, which we use for like the very basic recipes in Stormcraft. And we're going to use this today as well to make something. Uh, and then I have my research table. And the research table, normally how it works, if you open your uh, Somonomicon and you want to research something, you see all the blinking things, those aren't researched yet. Um, like if, let's say if I want to research uh, this focus pouch, Normally, on a, on a default difficulty, you click on this and you will get a research node. And then you would take the research node, put it in here, and you have to solve like a little mini game where you have to um, connect uh, different passes using those uh, aspects here. Um, or, yeah, I think you call them aspects. And you get them by um, either scanning objects in the world, it gives you them to this table, um, or you can place some of those crystals around here right now I have every color possible um, they stand for the you know the, the six main aspects in Stormcraft. um well what are they like if you look at our wand it's air terra ignis aqua auto and Perdicio. and they make up all the other um aspects uh, if you place them around your table you see that around those aspects the basic ones we have this little glowy thing that means they recharge slowly over time so if you ever run out, as long as you still have one left, if you have zero, it won't work. If you have one left and you have those crystals and you see this little blue light, it recharges over time. Um, so you don't actually run out, but it's very slow. So scanning, scanning aura nodes is actually one of the best ways to get a lot of different uh, aspects here to do it. And then if you need like more advanced ones, uh, you can like put always two together and then combine them. Of course, you have to know what they are made out of. Uh, since I already unlocked most of them, I think all of them actually, you can see what they are made of. Um, and if you research some of the more advanced, what is it, research expertise and mastery, you can actually just shift click on one and you get another one. And you see it says two now. If I shift click again, it says three now. And it just uses up the, in this case, auto and ignis, which I have a few of 86 auto and. 130 Ignis, so that's how you get them again. Um, so always make sure you have at least one so they recharge over time, otherwise they don't. I also have this one in here, this one uses all the colors. I don't know actually if it does anything, but just in case. Um, I should probably also place bookshelves, I believe they do something too. I think they recharge some of those as well. Uh, so that's how you do the researches, but I have it set to easy mode because I've been using Stormcraft so many times in so many uh, mod packs that I don't feel like redoing those mini games over and over again because they're very tedious. The first time it's fun, the second time it's like, yeah, I've already done this, I don't have to do it again. Uh, so in easy mode, as long as you have enough um, 
of the of the aspects to research something you can just click it and you learn it uh, instantly without using the mini game which is kind of nice there's also a hard mode where you always have to research uh, because uh, in some cases i believe for example uh, I don't. I don't actually know which one. I think, for example, here, if you would learn the magical uh, metallurgy, and then maybe metal uh, purification. I believe you only have to research this on normal, and the other ones you can buy just with the aspects if you have enough aspects. But if you play in hard mode, you have to research every single one of them, which is kind of a lot of work. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, so I've been uh, so I've been unlocking a couple of things. You notice that there are some here with those purple glowy things around. That means if you learn this, this is a forbidden knowledge. It actually uh, says on it. In this case, it's mostly harmless. Uh, but there are some, for example, liquid death is moderate. Um, those actually give you this warp effect I was talking about in a few episodes ago. When you notice that my screen goes like darker and you hear the heartbeat, that's the warp effect. So the more warp you have, the more uh, bad effects you get. So I'm kind of avoiding them until I no way of getting rid of warp. It's possible that I need to get a lot of warp before I can uh, learn how to get rid of it, but um, yeah, I'm leaving it for now. Uh, but that's how you do like the basic stuff. So for example, one item I want to do today is a new wand focus for my wand. Uh, I want to make the shock one, which shoots uh, lightning bolts out of your wand, which is awesome. So it tells you here you need to craft this in the arcane workbench. You need uh, four air shards for nether quartz and a potato apparently. <laughs> I don't know why potato. Potato seems to be a seam in mod packs. Um, and it tells you it needs 10 Padicio, Auto and Terra to craft it. And the way it would work is you put the recipes in here, you put your wand in there, and you can see your wand has like charges. Um, and it would consume that the the cost of the crafting uh, item from your wand. And you can recharge your wand by going to an aura node and like right clicking it. Um, I actually made a focus, if I unequip it right now. I made the one focus of equal trade. That one is one of my favorites. Um, I tried to enchant it, it got potency 2. I don't remember what that does. I think it makes it like stronger. For example, if you have the, the shock one, the lightning bolts would hurt you more. Uh, but there's another one I believe is called frugal or something, and it makes your cast cheaper. I didn't get that one, so I need to re-enchant this later. Um, there are ways to remove uh, to remove enchantments from items, uh, either through Stormcraft or using the Mind Factory loaded uh, disenchanter. Um, but yeah, you normally all you do is when you have your wand equipped, you hold F by default, and then it brings up this ring menu, which would show all your different focuses or foci, and then you select the one you want, and it's equipped. You can see it on the top of my wand now. And what the one of Eco Trade does is actually pretty cool. So, in the top left corner, you see, uh, you see those colored bars. That's how much V's I have stored right now. If I hold Shift, you can see it. You can also see the 0 0.07 on the the black and the white one, which means every time I cast with this focus now, that's how much it would drain. Um, and then you see this cobblestone in the top left corner. That's for the one focus I have. So what it does it if you hold shift um shift and then right click on a block you kind of pick that as your as your paintbrush so right now it says smooth stone in the top left corner if i would do the salt it would say uh salt ore or whatever but i don't have any in my inventory so let's do cobblestone again and it says nine because i have nine in my inventory and what you can do now is left click without shift on a block for example those and it would turn it into cobblestone and it gives you back whatever you uh, trying to replace. So it's kind of like swapping out the blocks. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like silk touch. So if I would do it on the coal ore, I would get coal instead of the ore. Um, but still, it's it's amazing for decorating rooms. And then let's see, I don't have a lot of cobblestone on me. I'm getting a little bit of lack in my base. I'm not sure if it's my base or something outside. But let's grab some. Come on. Oh, I'm actually getting server like now too. <laughs> Great. Let's get some more cobblestone. Uh, if you right click instead of left click, you actually replace a large area as far as it can go with the same block. So if I do it on a dirt, it tries to replace the dirt in like a big area with cobblestone, which is pretty awesome. So that way you can easily 
redecorate your rooms if you want to replace this smooth stone with like a fancy block later I can just right click it and it's gonna get replaced which is gonna be awesome and it's a pretty big range too look at that <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be awesome really useful tool to have um, and then this gigantic thing over here that's the infusion altar and this is how you make the advanced Songcraft crafting thingies, um, but we'll do that in a bit. Let's let's do the basic ones first. I don't know why I'm getting so much lag right now. It's kind of annoying. Um, I'm, I really have to figure out what it is. I notice when I like walk this way, it seems to be better. Right now it's fine. Um, and I'm kind of like on the right side of my base. If I run over here, it starts to lag, especially after I kind of pass like the middle here He's, you can probably see the stuttering I don't know if you can see it I don't know if it's this stuff if my farm is doing it maybe updating you know like growing those plants causes too many ticks update ticks or something um, or Imp mentioned that it might be this gigantic tree that's out here what if I set my video settings to fast so the leaves wouldn't render properly I don't know if that no. It's like a weird lag. It's like it's updating something every second or every two seconds. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Uh, kind of annoying. I don't get that anywhere else. So hmm. I might have to re remove the flowers and test this later. Um, but yeah, let's make the one focus. So let's double check this again. We need the wind shards, nether quartz, and a potato. Do we have a potato in my system? No, but I can go get one. Um, let's get the shards, four of them, and quartz, there we go, okay, and uh, I should get the potato from upstairs, is it daytime, it is, I made some changes around here, but not too much, um, just some details, I started B stuff, I'm gonna go over that later though, not today, let's get our potato here, can't use our tiny potato, luckily, <laughs> Why would you? That, that would be kind of cruel. Let's go down here. Right? That would be cruel. I'm never, I'm never gonna get rid of you. I have so many left. Alright. And sorry for the lag. I don't know how bad it's gonna be in the video, but if it is kind of laggy, I apologize. I'll try to fix it for the next time. So now you can see we need 10, uh, 10 air, 10 pedicio, and 10 auto. So we put this one, this is my old one, it doesn't actually have enough. Um, so let's put in the new one. And now you see the cost actually lowered. The reason for that is I'm wearing my Soundcraft rope. And it, you can see on the item it says V-Sys count 5%, 2, 2, and 1. So it's a 10% V-Sys count when I wear this. And that's why I only have 9, because it reduces it by 10%. If I would take this off, it's, it's higher. You know, 9.5 now. And you can also get it lower by... Again, enchanting your wand focus with um, frugal, that makes it cheaper to use. And if it's equipped on your wand and you use that wand to craft, it actually applies to the cost of crafting as well. And you have to do that in some cases because there are recipes where uh, you need to make a wand that has more Vs stored. Um, like, for example, mine can only store 100, but then maybe there's a wand you need to craft that can store more, but it costs 120. You can't actually do that because your wand doesn't have that much capacity. But then you get the 10% discount and on plus the frugal discount and then you barely make it. So there are some little tricks in there that you have to do. But there it is. The one focus of shock. Let's equip it. It's amazing. I'm going to have to enchant it too. Hold F again. Right now it unequips the other one. We can actually make the, uh, the pouch. I should probably research that. Let's actually re research that right now. We do have the... Uh, aspects for this. So just click on it and this is how you make it. So require a mundane belt, gold and leather. How do you get the mundane belt? That's just gold and leather too. Okay, I might make this. Uh, this one can store quite a few of those uh, one four guys in in the in a pouch which is really nice so you don't have like 10 uh, one four, four guys in there. But yeah, we have the shock one. So right click. Oh yeah! <laughs> I love it. And in the top left corner you can see it takes 0 0.09 uh, air Vs every time I cast this. 
I love this. <laughs> Later on, we should make a staff. Uh, they can actually store quite a few more Vs than the uh, the ones I have. Uh, but you can't use them for crafting. You can only use them for using your focus. Uh, we, we can also make the crafting scepter now. This is new. I haven't actually ever made one of those. Um, I believe they can also store more, but they are only made for crafting. So it's kind of like two different purposes. Very cool. Uh, so let me get some things ready and we'll do probably some of the advanced stuff. Yeah, I'm just like collecting leather up here and man, my frame rate is terrible. It doesn't look that bad, but you can see now it's under 20 and it's so stuttering. I don't know why. I mean, I'm recording, but normally it's not that bad. Alright, let's quickly make the pouch. I have all the items, I have the Vs. I actually have to recharge this soon, sort of. And there it is. And this one is awesome. So if you right click, you have those slots here for your wand focuses, four guys, I always say it wrong, and you can put them in. And it works with your wand too, you don't have to like pu pull them out, it still shows them both. And if you use them, it puts them back into the, into the pouch. Pretty cool. For the next thing I want to craft, I actually need feathers. So let's get some. Fishing is so exciting. Ooh, name tag! Alrighty. So, let's do some things here. Let's put on our awesome robe because we need to look fancy when we do magic. Uh, and today we are going to make the boots of the traveler. My favorite boots. This one actually uh, requires the a cane infusion, which is the table over there. And note, with this thing, things can get wrong. Really, really wrong. So, this might be either awesome or pretty bad. We'll see. Um, so what do we need? We need two air shards, two enchanted fabrics, a feather and fish. That's why I was fishing. And leather boots. I have all of these things, uh, but that's not enough. We need also, 25 Eiter and, that sounds gross, and 25 Volatus. Um, if you look at the book that shows all the aspects, we can see that Eiter, those are the objects that have Eiter. Uh, I'm using Ender Pearls because I have so many. So each Ender Pearl gives us 4 Eiter, we need 25. And then for the Volatus, it's either a feather or a bow. I don't know if there's anything else, but... Um, that's why I was spawning chickens, so we have that stuff. Now let's see, 25. The problem is... Well, I'll show you how it works first of all. But let me calculate this. 25, but we need... Uh, <laughs> so probably 32, so we need 16. That will make sense in a little bit. Um, so the way you get those specific aspects... You actually need them in liquid form, which is what those uh, jars here are for. Actually, I think I need to make more jars, I just realized. Yeah. Uh, but the way, the way you do it is by putting your items into this uh, chemical furnace, and it will smelt those items and break them into their components. So you can see the feathers made of two volatiles and one air. So if I put this in here, we will get two volatiles and one air per feather. Um, the reason why I need 32 is to move stuff out of those alembics here into the jars you can either use pipes uh thorncraft pipes which i don't have right now or you can use those little glass files but they can only store eight of each and it has to be eight so since i don't want to waste stuff that's why we need 32 because we need 25 um volatiles but that wouldn't fit in there here we could only do 24 i guess with three of them uh, so we're gonna do four of them which is 32. Makes sense, right? Sort of. In the meantime, let's make more jars. How do you make them again? It is glass panes, you can't really see them, and a uh, a slab on top. Come on, run. So I'm not used to not have my jetpack equipped now, but I have my... Uh... Oh, I don't even have glass. Hold on, I think we can... Oh, that's enlightened. I think we can turn this... Can you actually make paints? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. No problema. And we need 
uh, slaps, which I have a couple. So let's bring those. Yeah, dude, I got two name tags. Look at that. Fishing is awesome. <laughs> Who knew? Actually, I think they're craftable in this. Yeah, not even that expensive. Oh, well. It would have been awesome if it was vanilla Minecraft. Um, so let's make the jars, just so we can store more things. Um, where's my wand? Actually, use this one for a little bit until it's empty. How many did we get? Uh, four. I guess that would be enough, but let's just grab the rest. You need a lot of those jars. Uh, I'm just gonna put them here for now. Oops. Alright, let's see. Did we break down our feathers? There it is, 32. Uh, we also need 25. Was it 25 or 20? Let me double check this. Uh, yes, 25 motors, which is, it has four each. So we need uh, 32 as well, so 8, right? 8 times 4, 32, makes sense. Let's put them in there. So let's use our file, grab this stuff out of there, and put them in a jar. There we go. Uh, I could probably also move some of this. I have them over here, just so it's not a waste. Motors, there's some air I can grab, which I have right here. Which we don't need for the recipe, but just to store them. Uh, and there's something up there, alienness. I'm gonna let this fill up. So we're just gonna wait for this. In the meantime, we can probably start placing our items on the altar. Oh, infu yeah, infusion altar. So we needed two of those. I'm gonna grab a couple of extra because there's a chance that they actually, um, if you have too much instability, they can get kicked off your table, which would kind of be bad. Uh, I made sure I have two fish. I actually also have a raw salmon. Which also works, I believe, so should be okay. So you put the item you want to enchant in the middle, which in this case is the leather boots, those. And then you need to put them around this table. Um, it is kind of important that things are symmetrical. Uh, so, let's see, we can put this up here, I guess, here. Oh, they fixed the rendering. Sometimes there was a weird bug where you would see like a cross pattern. When you place those shards on there, which is kind of weird. And then it's the fabric, feather, and fish. So we're going to do the fabric. Um, uh, let's actually let's remove this. Let's place it here. I'm trying to keep this symmetrical sort of. So fabric, fabric. So this way, the fabric, the second one, is across the, uh, the first shard. Like here, it's across. And then the feather is going to be across the second one. Which would be uh, over here. I, I really don't know if it has to be that precise or not. Uh, but, you know, with this table, I want to make sure everything is perfect. Kind of. And here, right? Yeah, that should be all there is to it. Okay, so we only need our aspects and we are ready to go. So let's grab those. Should be done by now. Uh huh. Put them in a jar. Where are you? And I'm gonna put them a little bit closer. The uh, the the table has a pretty long range for grabbing those things, but just in case, I'll move them over here. Um, uh, you see those hats around there? That's because placing hats and those crystals and also candles actually lowers the chance of getting instability. Um, but again, it has to be symmetrical, which should be the case, hopefully. So. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep my extra items on the hotbar in case it goes wrong. I can quickly replace them. I don't have the shoes, but I don't think it destroys the middle item. Um, and we need a wand to start the whole process. Let's get our good one. And that should be all we have to do. Let's give it a whack and start the process. And it looks amazing. This is one of my favorite things in modded Minecraft. All right, now you can see it needs 25 of those things. And it's starting to drain them. And we should keep an eye on the table in case it kicks off some items. So far so good. And then it should start to drain the other stuff once it's done. It looks really cool. And it's like infusing the boots now. There's the... Uh, Ita. Alright, and then slowly it should start consuming. There we go. It's starting to consume the items breaking it up into their base components. 
It looks so fancy. I love it. And the last one, and we should be good. Oh, two more. Oh, yes, no problem. There they are, the boots of the traveler. Ah, yes. <laughs> The boots of the travel are similar to my. Um, did I actually give a V discount? No. Similar to my. Uh, the free runners I had, which let you walk up a block. But you can also notice they're a lot faster. I'm actually running quite fast now. And I can run up blocks like this. It's so awesome. I love them. I would love to enchant them. But I don't have the experience points. Um, let me go try something. I kind of forgot to turn off the chicken farm. Whoops. So because my uh, essence up there is actually full, uh, a lot of the uh, the experience points actually don't get consumed right now because the... Uh... Why do I have glass on here? Interesting. Uh, because the uh, sewer is full, so what I'm thinking of doing is, later, not right now, but you can see I'm already at level 30 now, is add a, um, a way of store extra uh, extra essence as experience points. So if we ever need to enchant stuff, we can just go grab it. So let's go enchant our boots real quick. It's night time. Let's take a snooze. Hopefully we get haste. Haste is one of the best enchantments. If you get haste 3 on your boots, oh my god, you can run like crazy. Anyone here? No. Um, like we can put the, uh, the XP drain and like a tank next to the sewer so that every excess or extra uh, experience points get consumed by that and fill up a tank and probably just pump it into a drum in front of the room or something so we can easily grab it. Well, that's you, you can you saw how fast I was. Now I'm slow because I'm not wearing it. Get rid of this flower so we have 30 levels. Oh god, please give me haste and. Here's the ideal enchantment. Haste 3, Repair 2 is, I believe, is the highest. Repair is a Stormcraft enchantment and it repairs your tools slowly over time, which is amazing. Let's see what we get. Please. Protection 4. <laughs> Lame. Oh, well. Um, so what I'll be doing then... Oh, look at that. You can also jump higher. Let me take off my jetpack. I forgot about that. Whee! I love those boots. They're so awesome. Ah, also I'm growing some silver trees here, uh, because I need it, uh, I just needed the locks. But yeah, it's so cool. I'm going to try to, um, try to remove the enchanting again. I, th I think Eltanen has a, uh, has a disenchanter, so I'm going to do that over there. And I'll set up the experience points system I was just talking about, so I can easily enchant things. Uh, but I'll do that next time, or... I'll have it done by next time because it's gonna take a while and it's not gonna be too interesting. So I think that's will that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> We're gonna do a lot of a lot of really cool uh, Stormcraft stuff very soon. I just wanna get this room dressed up a little bit. Uh, and yeah, it should be awesome. There's so many cool toys in Stormcraft we can get. Uh voice crack. Uh like the runic shielding, armor and stuff like that. It looks really complicated. And my Second favorite item, the thermostatic harness. Oh boy. But yeah, that will be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.